it's important to recognize that technology is not an end in itself, but rather it's a, it's a means to an end. First of all, I think we, we could take stock of uh, how much progress we've already made. Uh, if I look back uh, when I was in college, if you had missed a class um, or if you were finding a concept difficult to understand, there was no way uh, you, could, uh, you could brush up on that, you could not see that lecture again. Whereas now with technology, you could watch any of these videos as many times as you want, you can practice. Um, exercises and you know uh, even if you have missed a few skills now you have fancy adaptive learning softwares which can allow you to uh, build uh, those skills almost on a step-by-step -step basis so that's what what we are already at right now i think it's very new i think uh, we we i think in the history of human humanity or technology uh, for the first time we've reached a point where uh, real pedagogues and academicians can use and leverage technology to create solutions and you don't necessarily need technologists uh, and that's a huge uh, situation to be in because today there is platforms authoring tools which are open source available uh, which uh, really can enable pedagogues and academicians to create solutions uh, which can directly go to beneficiaries Technology can play uh, a lot of different roles and add a lot of different value to um, uh, educational outcomes in India. So let me just outline a couple of these. I think the first uh, is clearly that through technology, we can make content accessible uh, to students uh, who are especially in remote areas uh, and don't really have access to, um, uh, to certain types of uh, curriculum, uh, to, uh, to certain teachers, uh, and, uh, and different pieces of knowledge. The second uh, advantage of um, or value of EdTech uh, is that it can provide real-time data uh, and information uh, to school systems so that they can make more informed decisions uh, and on issues as, uh, as wide-ranging as teacher effectiveness uh, and student learning outcomes. Uh, through this, uh, EdTech can also uh, develop individualized uh, learning plans uh, for children uh, as well as help them become uh, more tech literate. If you look at, you know, a little bit in the future, you could imagine a world where uh, not only students are uh, learning uh, at the pace they want to in a mastery-based uh, way, uh, but they can also start uh, using technology. They can start building uh, evidence of work that they are doing. They could build uh, portfolios of the projects and other activities that they are doing at school. And in some ways, I mean, with, uh, with what they learn uh, through technology as well as through uh, this project-based work that they can do, this, these portfolios they could build, you could see a scenario where uh, alternative paths to high schools could develop. And in a country like India, uh, that is something of huge significance. Time has come where we can put technologies not just to do administration better, but to actually use for more sophisticated solutions like training teachers or providing adaptive learnings to children. Uh, so I think we are at that cusp at this point of time where technology can leapfrog some of these solutions. Different companies at different stages obviously need different kind of financing instruments. So, so there is a huge need for, for, for grants, for debt, for equity, and for structured products that are in between debt and equity. 